what we've got to do now is to configure some system config files to ensure that uh, the libraries for Myth TV get loaded, um, that the binary is in the path that it can be executed easily, because obviously we've built it into a custom location and it's not going to work as it is. Um, certainly won't be able to run it just by typing Myth TV. So the first thing we're going to do is to, uh, well, I'll tidy this up first of all. First thing I'm going to do is to edit the um, library cache. So it's etcld.so.conf. And what we're going to do here is similar to what the BLFS do, is to type something like begin myth TV. Edition. and we want to add in forward slash opt forward slash uh, myth tv forward slash lib so that adds in the myth tv libraries and end myth tv edition Save that. Now we'll run ldconfig, sudo ldconfig to load those libraries. So what we need to do next is to add the Myth TV binary path to the path automatically so it gets it's available for anyone to use, although in theory it's only really going to be the um, special Myth TV user that gets set up that will have access to it or that will run it. Um, but it makes anything else that's in the Myth TV binary directory available system wide. Let's just take a look. Yes, there's other, yes, of course, there is there's other um, binaries that are required by. Um, either the system or other tools and so on. So, um, to do this, we need to edit or create a new um, profile config file. So, if we go to etc the profile dot d directory, you can see there's already some there, and we can probably crib one of these actually. Um, Let's have a look at the I18N. It's going to, only going to be a simple thing. No, let's try QT5. Yeah, that that probably be a good one to do. So we can copy that. Copy the QT5 to a Myth TV. SH. Uh, sudo so there it is there we'll edit it now so let's just change these to make some more sense this tv.sh this tv.sh and what we're going to do is we don't need to set any environment variables. We haven't got a package config. I don't believe we have anyway. Let me just check. No, there isn't. So we can get rid of that and get rid of that one. All we need to do is to append the Myth TV binary path, which is opt Myth TV bin into the path variable. So that's all we really need to do there. So we'll save that. Um, we can now, if we echo the path 
and source etc profile in theory that should pick up that new change if we echo the path yep you can see that optimist tv bin has been added to the path so we've now got access automatically to those binaries now we're going to create a user specifically to manage myth tv so we'll do sudo user add system and I've taken this from the web page actually um, shared library requirements Miss web yes yeah, this bit here system Miss TV and we want it to be part of some groups so add on the groups option CD-ROM, audio, and video. So that's that. Um, I never set a password for Myth TV, so it's always unset. You can't become the Myth TV user and do stuff. The only way you can do that is to become the root uh, and then SU to the Myth TV. So it just gives a little bit of protection to the Myth TV user. Um, being that it's got one job and one job alone. It has also been set as a system user, as you can see here. 